here with Jeff, the director of the Fab Lab at the uh, Northampton Community College. He's going to show us around the Fab Lab. So where should we get started? Well, we can start right here, Justin. Right. Justin. <laughs> By the way, thank you. Thanks for coming. It's Absolutely. Really been yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. You're a star. Thank you. I love it. So can you tell me about the front desk, first of all? It's the pretty awesome. The desk actually represents uh, the Bethlehem Steel uh, part of the whole concept of uh, the building and, okay. and what used to be here. Yeah. And then the mix of high technology. So I decided so. at the last minute to put screens in it because yeah. I well, wanted to put the technology into the old world craftsmanship. Yeah, That yeah. kind of shows what the Fab Lab does. Absolutely. And that's it in a nutshell. We, we mix high technology with basic skills. We just got this. This is a metal cutting laser. Metal cutting laser. All right. So if I just take this like this and just bring this over to about there. Yep. And I press its origin, I can cut something. So it's actually cutting with oxygen. Are you so serious? It's, right. So the oxygen is coming out of the cylinder. Uh, it's hitting exactly where the laser's hitting, and the oxygen's actually doing the cutting. Wow. So this machine was expensive, but not nearly as expensive as most metal cutting machines are. Okay. So now we have the capability of doing metal cutting for artists and inventors. Yeah. And people just want to make things. They can now cut metal, and we never could do that before. So wow. That was printed in here. It's a pretty simple print, but so this was printed right in here. Right here. So it just came right out of the printer. What I'm into is is to be able to have the capability to do large objects. Yeah. There's a lot of maker spaces. They get the small printers, and their just capabilities are just anything small. And there's a lot of people that want to do larger, Absolutely. larger things. So yeah. we can do small and large in that. So yeah, yeah. That's one of the reasons you're seeing some of the equipment to be relatively large because you that just extends our capabilities. I can see there being a real need now. You know, someone. Someone no longer wants to just go and buy something. They'd rather pay for a class, make it themselves, and then it really means something. That's a huge movement right now. People yeah. are just, you know, we went through two and a half, two generations, maybe more, where they've taken a lot of those hands-on experiential things out of yeah. the classroom. Oh, they have. Uh, so industrial arts became tech ed, and so the hands-on things just became a computer. Yeah. So for, I think for a generation and a half, most people have been making things that don't weigh anything. Yeah, you know, it's that's all a good point. Yeah, and now I think there's a need for people to come in and say, "Listen, I just want to know how some things are made." Yeah, and the fab labs and makerspaces around the country are just blossoming. I started guitar making about five years ago, just to bring a different type of person into the fab lab because yep. I was getting mostly retired men. Yep. I said, put electric guitars in, and let's see if we can get some younger people and some some people that might be interested in in guitars that, that run the gamut of the different ranges and ages. And it worked like crazy, it worked great. So that filled up and that really got going. Then I started acoustic guitars. Yeah. That started to get going. And pretty soon, if you see that right there, that's the Martin Guitar Charitable Foundation Luthier Lab now. Yeah. So we've really moved up to the point now there's a certification. That's awesome. It takes a year to get it. There's people coming in from all over the country. So okay. we're building some really fine instruments. Oh, yeah. And we're going right through the stages of you know, how to do inlaying, you know, how to do finishing, how to get these, these guitars to sound right and toning the, the tops and the backs. It's, it's really complicated. But it's very satisfying. Each one of these people will go away with a great guitar. Well, this is wood turning. This is the wood turning? Okay. Yeah. So Ed, Ed knows how to make a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Ed is uh, doing some demonstrations. And so he has glasses. His glasses fill up. So he's yeah. got six lays across here. And there'll be six people in here turning. So they'll all be turning around here. And he's teaching from the middle. Yeah. OK, and yeah. From 1 o'clock in the afternoon until about 9.30 at night. There's people in here trying wow. two times. So this is the wood shop in here? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's one of the busiest areas in the whole lab. Uh-huh. And it was the one where we have the most classes. Yep. So everything from beginning woodworking all the way to chair making, all the way to furniture elements, um, to, you know, automated um, sign cutting, carving. We said guitar making, that's kind of like in the woodworking. Yeah. Uh, but we have, we have about 13 classes and we have four instructors in woodworking. We have 32 instructors here who have the same um, passion for sharing their knowledge as Brian and Kevin do. That's so great. It's really, really fun.